if you're in Atlanta this weekend, look up to the sky. It is the Atlanta Air Show at Atlanta Motor Speedway. But as of right now, maybe the forecast calling for some trouble as clouds and a few showers out there too. But let's bring in Captain Michael Brewer. He is a pilot for the Thunderbirds. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining us today. Take us through first off what it's like getting here because you're based out of Las Vegas. We are. We sure are, yeah. So uh, we actually hook up with a, a tanker that uh, does air-to-air -air refueling with us out here. Uh, hook up with them a couple times uh, on the way over here. We do about nine miles a minute on the way in. Uh, <laughs> so it takes us about a little over three hours to get here. But uh, it's a great way to see the country. A great way to see the country. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, you have an extensive history as a pilot. Sort of take us through sort of maybe how the weather has interacted with your career and a personal favorite memory. Yeah, absolutely. So we... Uh, uh, growing up, I grew up uh, outside Chicago. I loved aviation, so I grew up flying as much as I possibly could. Uh, did a short stint in the airlines for a little bit, uh, which was pretty awesome because you get, really get to see all over the country and also the, how the weather patterns affect that. Uh, and what was really cool is uh, while I was in college, uh, I uh, minored in meteorology as well. So actually getting to see to fruition the things yeah. that you study was pretty fascinating. And speaking of the meteorology, what sort of weather could perhaps halt the air show this weekend or any air show that you guys have? Yeah, so we actually uh, obviously prepare for this. We do this every single weekend. So we actually have three different types of shows. Uh, there's a high show, a low show, and a flat show. And it's all contingent based off the cloud layer. Mm -hmm. So if the cloud layer is, say, above 8,000 feet, we can have a full high show. If the cloud layer is between maybe four to 5,000 feet, we take out the full looping maneuvers, but still do the rolling maneuvers. And all the way down to a flat show, uh, which is uh, we don't have the rolling or the looping maneuvers, but it's a lot more in your face action. And so obviously if you have to adjust, adjust to the weather. Mm -hmm. Rain, lightning, snow, uh, winter storms. What's mm -hmm. the worst weather to fly in? Uh, actually, to be honest, we had a show uh, out in uh, Reno just a little bit ago. And wind shear, believe it or mm -hmm. not, is a, is a huge factor for us. So uh, we actually were sitting there. You can see some of the lenticular clouds that are building from the mountain waves. And as we start pulling into the, to the, uh, our looping maneuvers, it starts uh, uh, jostling the formation around. So we'll actually transition the show. <laughs> Even though there's not uh, high clouds, we'll right. transition to a flatter show right. so we don't have to expose ourselves to that wind shear layer. Winds are a little bit close, uh, slower down towards the uh, surface. Absolutely. Sort of uh, let people know maybe if if you're flying on some of the commercial airlines, how is flying passenger different from being a pilot with the Thunderbirds? Uh, well, so the Thunderbirds, uh, when we perform, we're doing it for visual performances, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, as a passenger, you're trying to get from point A to point B. So when you're going to, the, let's say, JFK, uh, and it's out there and it's uh, uh, foggy and you can barely see your hand in front of you, you know, you're still trying to get from point A to point B. So they have a lot of specialized instrumentation in commercial airliners to get you into uh, areas with poor weather. All right, Captain yeah. Michael Brewer with the a pilot with the Thunderbirds, the air show this weekend, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kelly, over to you.